Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland, the channel that's all and anything about Land Rovers. <laughs> I'm your friend Dan O. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got something interesting today, and uh, this has been brought up to my attention by my friend Colin Lane. Yeah, he's a neighboring state uh, uh, Land Rover collector. He's over in uh, Michigan. Yeah, Michigan. Well, anyway, Colin and I, we uh, talk, we're on Facebook together, and uh, he brought to my attention an interesting fact that came to to uh, to him because he's got a <laughs> he's a younger guy he's got a keener eye than I do, but what we're going to talk about is this uh, double cab, the 2015 uh, Land Rover Defender double cab. All right, um, all right. First off, this uh, rust orange orange rust colored one is. Um, was a very, I'm going to assume that this was a very difficult color for Hot Wheels to produce. There was and is a million and one different shades of these. And I tell you, it's so noticeable uh, in and out of the package. A lot of times the ribbing and the details on the back are uh, washed through. It's like the paint just went went right down through and it's a little bit lighter color um but two also the shade the shading of this rust orange whatever you want to call it is um is quite a thing so yes and no we're talking about variations today and uh colin has brought up to my attention and i had noticed that too that this had uh um uh, uh, different shading as orange and and you know what I'm gonna stop right now and, and remind you guys to go ahead and uh, hit the link and uh, there's another video on these that I did so you know if you want to tag that video right there you can go ahead and do that uh, but anyway the other interesting thing about this model is this little gas cap the filler um, tunnel I don't know, the filler spot, I guess, for these. And what Colin had noticed is, and I'm going to show you uh, an extreme one here, is that it's not there. It's a bump, actually. It's not just that it's not there. It is actually a bump. So, as he brought that up to my attention, I went and I took a look at just a part of my collection and did some investigating. Now, here's one that's still in the package, and you can see that it's there, but not quite there. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking, self, could that be where the paint has filled that hole and it's just too much paint in there because we already talked about how this car had problems with paint and so all right so i took a look and uh in the case that i was looking at and found i found um oh what do i got here i got uh six of them that have that dimple and this is just a part of, of my collection. Uh, this was kind of stuff that was kind of readily available. Boy, I went through a whole, I spent a whole morning rearranging everything. <laughs> They're looking at this because I, I, it's something interesting. This is something interesting to me. And uh, as you see, you know, yeah, there's, and now I probably have, oh, I don't know. Probably close to 50, 75 of these cars, maybe. And I have six that I just pulled out that were like that, okay? So in my uh, looking and digging, and I, I'm just going to show you one more time, just this one here, how the, it's almost filled in, but it's still there. And that one definitely is a, a bump, you know? 
So while I was doing that, I, I recently have gotten uh, more Zamax, which is kind of, uh, you know, something that's hard to come by. So, you know, I'm collecting those and everything and putting those all together. And now if you notice, these here are two that are like on the verge, you know, they're not quite um, there, but they're not a bump. So, you know, and then Zamax, you know, so, okay, so that's not really painted. I don't know if they put a clear coat or what on it, but it does have a decal, but the decal does not cover that gas-filled tank neck. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> but anyway, so I was going through my Zamax and check it out. They are the same kind of situation. Now, um, I probably have right now, I don't know, um, 20 or 30 of these. And uh, what do I got? Two, five. Five of them that are like that. Now, I go back to my theory. Okay, is it bubble that just paint, you know, came up on that and filled that hole? Uh, or is it, you know, uh, uh, an error? Is it an actual casting error? And uh, that's where, you know, Colin and I were talking about it and just seeing, you know, what in the world really is going on there. Well, I tell you what, we're going to have to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> I won't open up the Zamax. But I'm going to open up one of these buggers, and we're just going to see exactly um, are they or are they not uh, a casting error, and, or is it just paint that's uh, built up there? All right, so let's take a look. We're going to cut this one open and uh, see what we got. I'm going to carefully dissect that so we can save the packaging there all right handy dandy knife all right here we go this is this discover america right here all right so now we're going to take a little bit closer look at what we're talking about here i wish i could uh well we're going to do it upside down and right side up but you can see that there is definitely a difference that one is a dimple and one is a bump. One is an actual filler and the other one isn't. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're squeamish, faint of heart, squeamish, look away. I've got one of my dental picks out. We're going to just take a look here and pick at this just to kind of see, is that paint or is that Ladies and gentlemen, that I'm scratching off paint and we're getting bare metal on there. So that definitely is in the casting that that filler cap is a bump. And you can you can see it right there. Look at how yeah, that's a pretty big bump there. <laughs> I'd hate to have to file it down, you know? If I was doing a custom, that would be a little bit of work. To get that bugger to be flat and flush. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Mystery solved. Yeah. What do you think about that? How many of these little buggers do you have? You better go and check your collection to make sure that do you have a variation or is that or is this a variation? Colin and I, we think it is. That's definitely something different. And the ratio, the ratio that you have is that it's a it's a variation. Uh, now, the paint scheme, I'm on the fence about variations there. I mean, you can get, you know, shades, you know. There's not really... Um, now, the variations on the paint scheme, I would say the way, way dark side over here and a way, way light side. You put those together... You might be able to sell the pair or or claim that the pair is a different paint scheme, but all the shades in between, 
eh, I wouldn't, in my personal opinion, is I don't think that's a variation. But this here, I would say, is definitely a variation due to the ratio and due to uh, that is that is a uh, blemish. I know I did buy uh, Matchbox, uh, the the uh, mint green uh, Defender 90, and it had a casting tab still in the window. I'll have to show you that when I do uh, the uh, casting highlight on that one. I'll show you that. That's kind of an error that I have. But, uh, hey, Colin and I want to know, what do you guys tell us below? Do you think that that is enough of a variation to be a variation obviously it is quite different the number of ratio and not not saying that i have a uh you know a, uh but i've got a pretty good uh um what do you what do you want to call it counting you know i've got over 50 of these and uh you know and that's the variation you know the the number of the, the ratio the ratio. That's what we're going to call it. The ratio. Does that, you know, um, claim or, or uh, you know, uh, I, I'm a loss for words. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. What you got to do, folks, is just comment down below. Let me know. Do you have any of these variations? Do you think the gas cap and its filler and or a bump qualifies this as a variation that's the big question is this or is this not a variation that's what we want to know all right my friends that's gonna be it remember slow traffic keep right and have a great rover day